Howdy everyone, this is Dave, and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine for the Nintendo 64. We're going to get right back into it, so if you haven't seen the first one, then feel free to check it out. Without further ado, here we go. Oh, oh, we got a map. Oh, we need to put our hat on everyone. Babylon. A lot of mud brick and not much else. Why do the Russians want to dig it up? We're gonna find out. You ever watch any of those channels that do the boundary breaks in video games? This game would be fun to do that. Yes. These controls are pretty stiff. Oh, yes! The Ministerstva hereby reminds comrade Dr. Volodnikov that socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Those doctrinaire apparatchiki. What is it? They think I'm out here searching for God? Possibly. I'm just decoding the message, sir. I'm searching for Marduk, a creature the Babylonians worship as a god, but he doesn't live in heaven, just on another plane. What kind of plane, sir? Soviet or American? Not airplane, you idiot. It's another dimension of reality. The Ethereum. Be careful, Professor. When questions of ideology arise, they often conceal doubts about methods and results. In four ministers, we're making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story is waiting in the room of the tablets. That's where we'll find out what happened to the tower and to the machine. Marduk inspired. We are close. It's a matter of days. And damn the ideology! Wow. If you if you watched my uh, playthrough of Spider-Man 64, then you would understand that having cutscenes, and even though their hands aren't really, like, moving, the fact that they're kind of doing this, the fact, like, that is... That's kind of mind-blowing, actually. Like, you're not used to that kind of you know, production with these N64 games. Yeah, what's... Oh, there's people. Quite an operation the Russians have going here. Makes me jealous. The site is crawling with guards. I better steer clear. How do we... St oh, that's how we steer clear. Okay. Oh, please. Can I get back up? You know, the controls on these are what... What really make it difficult. It's definitely not smooth. Like this. I can't... There we go. Like, you have to find the correct pixel to be able to do anything. What is this room? Ah! No! You know what, screw it. It's probably just one of those gems or something. I want to play the game. Let's get into some action here. This isn't stealth. This is Indiana Jones. Like, you get found and then you fight your way out. Uh. 
Gotcha, bitch. Hmm. An automatic. Aha. There's another dude down here. I know there's another dude down here. Two dudes. Shit. Oh. I need one of those medical kits. Oh my god. That was pretty intense, actually. A medical kit. Oh, what's down there? Ooh, anti venom. Whoa! Did not expect that. Hey. Just a random scorpion. Some medicine. Uh -huh. Thankfully. First aid. We've got plenty of anti-venom. Oh, yeah. Plenty of medicine. Oh, of course. Go right through the checkpoint. That's my passport. Okay, so they want me to jump onto a moving truck here, and my jumping is not that skillful in this game, so let's try it. Oh, I was on that! was I not on that? Oh my god. Get back up. Another... Another anti-venom. Another truck come through? Oh, there it is. Perfect timing, my man. Yes! Thank the... They don't see me up there. Uh oh. Stoy. Stoy. Do not shoot those! Put the gun away. Pick the gun up!
Those barrels are dangerous. Give me this gun. Oh, come on. I guess if you don't uh, get the gun within like two seconds, then uh, you can't grab the ammo. We ain't moving any of these boxes unless we have to. What have we here? That tapping is so annoying. What is that, an oubliette? I might do a video on one of those. That might be a fun topic. Nobody? Nobody at all? Oh. We have Narushiki in our sight. Capture him if possible. Otherwise, throw you eye the dog. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I might have to pull up my big guns. I got 60 bullets for this? That's right, you better run. <laughs> Bet you don't got first aid's mother effort. Suck it. Oh, I could have been using that lighter. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's go in there. Okay, they they had to have known what they were doing. Oh, you did not want to dive like that, man. That is how you get killed. Did you go down deeper? Oh my God, I would not be doing this in real life. A whole lot of... What? Dude, who cares about that? You're about to drown. Okay, come on. Where am I? This deeper area must be somewhere. Oh, snap, man. Going underwater is, like, such a scary thing. In games. Ugh, Indy's looking a little rough without his hat. Why are these doors always locked? Oh, snap. Hey, Astanavis. Strasvice, Tavarish. Open the door. I'm here to deliver supplies. You know, dig stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need, I've got it. Hey, Spion. Mine prekrezna strelyat Spionov. What? Hello, Dr. Jones. Welcome to Babel. I'm Simon Turner. Remember? CIA? Sophia works for me. Oh, you stole the cogwheel. And our combi friends don't even know it's gone. Belodnikov's a hopeless academic, not a field man, and frankly, I need clues he doesn't have. That's why you got tapped. You're a famous archaeologist. 
I'm just a spy. This should get you through the door. By the way, rumor has it they found a gold statuette of the winged god Marduk. Be awful nice to have that. CIA runs a museum. The company runs a hive of soulless bureaucrats, but I am a passionate collector. I'll bet you are. First of all, that dude Simon Turner putting his gun away and the gun's already there in the holster. Beautiful. Uh, but Simon Turner is a CIA operative and the boss of Sophia Hapgood, involved in the 1947 excavation of the Infernal Machine, this game. Uh, Simon Turner was involved in military intelligence as early as World War II, and blah 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 blah. Alright, so he's just a CIA dude. No, uh... No other video games, so... I guess, uh... And I don't know why Indy would be interested in giving this guy something that's a passionate collector. Because as we all know... That belongs in a museum! Oh god, he's going for glory! Y'all could just keep showing up and giving me your ammo. I am cool with that. Yeah, I got 91 bullets for your candy. Look what I found. Some firepower. And a rifle. Okay. Thanks, Simon Turner. This door is locked. I figured some sort of item. Ooh! I gotta see what happens. Oh, that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Cool. Whoa. Nice, that was the smoothest yet. I guess Mr. Otis didn't actually invent the elevator after all. Turner was right about Volodnikov. A good digger would have found this long ago. So that guy doesn't know anything about excavation. Oh, I know what that, that is. What do you know? Sophia's little gift has a purpose. Nice. And we got to keep in mind whatever this pattern is, because I'm sure that is something that will need to hmm. This might be important. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I see what we're supposed to be doing here. This is very interesting. Okay, where am I? Nebuchadnezzar's library, maybe. Shh, don't disturb the patrons. Well, that's easy. They've been dead for thousands of years. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, I am dead. I am so dead. Ooh, yes! 
Now what? Now what? We're in the money, player. Don't disturb the patrons indeed. That's the first time I've died. I thought I would have died many a times, to be honest with you. There's no room to maneuver. Ooh. Oh, thank God I didn't die from that. An idol. I'll yoink that. Thank you very much. Doesn't this seem just so exhausting? It's exhausting doing this, and I'm not even the one pushing things and pulling things. Gotta make this jump. Yes. Imagine that. Like you gotta make these jumps, man. <gasps> What's this? Part of a cuneiform tablet. Okay. Part of a cuneiform tablet. Hmm. Fragment of text. <laughs> Just carrying around these big ass tablets while you're jumping around. Like, yeah, right. Okay. Can I whip? Can I whip that? I don't know. Doesn't look very promising. All right, we are going to take a leap of faith. We've done that, right? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, not good enough. At least they have the courtesy of starting me off here and not like at the beginning of the room with all the enemies respawned. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know if that's how we are supposed to do that, but we're going to just cheat, you know. <laughs> just kind of look in this room here. This is a, that was a crazy jump. I mean, who was doing that? Looks like I have everything in this room I might need. Right? Oh. That wasn't a good idea. Yes. Didn't start me off up there. That is fine. Nope. That, I missed that by, I airballed. And now I died without even meaning to do that. Me when, me when your mom, you, um, you had, you, 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 Oh. Okay. It's not funny anymore. Oh. Something tells me I would not make a good archaeologist. Back in this time era, though, I mean, there were no laws against anything, man. You would just make your own plans, go across there, find the place, dig it up, desecrate some graves, make a whole culture angry at you, get shot at. Yes. Okay. Oh. <gasps> no. Okay. Oh, God. You never know, man. If I would have been glitched out just then, that would have been a big problem. <laughs> so at least if I die, I'm continuing here where the cutscene was, at least. Yeah. Well, well, look 
at this. Marduk, wings and all. <laughs> Not bad as priceless treasures go. And we have a way out. I think we've defeated the room. Let's leave. <laughs> Another text fragment. Okay, I guess now we leave where we came back. Or, we leave where we came from. As indicated by the music, we may have done it. Oh. There's some cuneiform writing here, but I can't read it. Some of the tablets are missing. Uh, they're going to make me do everyone individually. There, it fits. But I still can't read anything. Now it starts to make sense. Let's see here. Make welcome seeker. Know that it was Nebuchadnezzar, in heed of the writing uh, that Marduk made appear unto him, who builded the great engine. Having no understanding, the rabble hath thrown down his work, but four trusted disciples are, are scattered upon the face of the earth, and the relics go with them. Wouldst thou tread the path of knowledge, look eastward. Ergon it is who flees to the heavenly mountains, where Shambhala holds a mighty secret. Heavenly mountains. I wonder if that means the Tian Shan Range. Well, that was an enlightening experience. Some poor soul made it this far and died. A couple people. What have we here? I will take that for my troubles. Thank you. Thank you. Longest ride ever. Okay. <laughs> this guy. Ah, Jones, there you are. Got a statue for me? Will this do? <whistles> it just might. Anything else? According to the inscription, the tower once housed a great engine. When the Babylonians smashed the thing, four priests escaped with the parts. Taking them where? Not sure, except in one case. Some fellow named Ergon headed for the Heavenly Mountains. There's a crude map of Central Asia. That's not much help. Might be enough. The Tian Shan Range straddles the border between China and Kazakhstan. The name translates as Heavenly Mountains. Kazakhstan? Last time I looked, that was Soviet territory. Maybe I won't show the border guards my passport. Okay, buddy, it's your funeral. Let me just clip through this whole Jeep. The fact that they are getting him to drive that, though. Man, that, I'm telling you, that is impressive for the Nintendo 64. And we just left Simon Turner. <laughs> we left Simon Turner at the excavation site with a bunch of dead Russian soldiers. Like, no questions asked, no nothing. <laughs> and we have $420 for 20 Let's buy some herbs. All right, we'll call that quits. All right, everyone, I am going to stop right here. I know we're traveling somewhere else to our next destination, and we will pick that up later, maybe. I mean, this is a lot more fun than I realized. Uh, you know, I've, 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 you know, it's normal game nowadays, but back in the day, it seemed a little rough. Uh, it is still a little rough. There is definitely some control issues. Uh, definitely some sort of problem with just where you could barely be a pixel off and it could send you into a permanent falling animation or something of that nature something rough regarding that because uh that that does happen anyways i'm gonna go ahead and leave that off here maybe i'll pick it up later uh but if you enjoy what you saw here please feel free to like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching until next time have a good one